Okay, uh, this video today is about uh, the pin 15.4.1 live USB. Quick look. Um, this video is just to show um, um, the way uh, the changes that uh, the pin made with uh, with uh, the 15.4.1 release. And uh, some of it is um, is uh, there is um, on the screenshots uh, you can switch from 3D to 2D from 3D. I'm using right now um, uh, 2D, but I'm going to show uh, and there is uh, lots of bug fixes. So um, on the live. I tested uh, on the live USB. There is a bug uh, on my computer. Uh, the CPU is a dual core, but only one core is showing. And uh, if I go to the system monitor. It's only showing um, one CPU core. And uh, let's close this here. Let me save the screenshots on the pin here. Okay, so um, if I want to, if I click, um, if I want to have the, if you want to switch from 2D to 3D, uh, the special effects here, I go to personalization. Uh, let me show here. I go to personalization here. And then I switch from enable window effect here. Just gonna take a screenshot. Actually, I click in the wrong. Let me undo this. So So uh, if I want to switch to 3, uh, 3D, if I want to switch to 3D, I have to, uh, I, I go to organization here, and then I go to enable uh, window effect. But uh, the problem is there's only one, you're only using one core of the CPU. I will change here, but it's going to be very slow. So after installation, there is no problem with the with the with the bug with the, with the CPU. Only with the live USB that I have this problem. As you can see, uh, as you can see, there is a delay. Uh, you can see the the thumbnail of the of the 
of the the software on the on the dock. I will turn it off the, the 3D, uh, uh, 3D um, effects here because it's only using one core of my CPU and they make it slow. So I just want to switch back to 2D. Okay, with the 2D, uh, it uh, <coughs> the, the one core CPU is just fine. So uh, this video is just a quick video. Okay, this is a, it needs the window effect to, to work. Let me close this here and open it again, expand. And there is a bug with the XPAD 2, which is the show decoration here. If it's not enabled, it gives a bug. Is a bug. This is on the on the XPAD. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so uh, so. Uh, the menu here, if I go back here and switch here, as you can see, it's very, very nice. I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay, and uh, let me just, uh, if you go back, if you click here, it goes full screen. It goes full screen. And uh, there is the, if you go like this, it shows the. If you go with the mouse with the left, with the left uh, side of the screen, it shows the all the apps. If you go to the right, you can change. Um, let me see. Okay, uh, they change. If you go to the bottom here, it shows the the, the all settings menu. I'm going to take a screenshot here.
Ok, I will do a review of uh, the Pin Linux. Uh, on uh, I'm gonna do a, my next video is gonna be on how to install to a 64 gigabyte USB flash drive, and then I'm gonna do a review of it. And um, this is just to show that uh, some people that uh, they can uh, use the Pin as a live USB device. Or you can install to, a, to the hard drive, or you can install to a USB flash drive. So that's it for now. Uh, my next video is going to be on how to install the pin to a. I'm going to use a 16 gigabyte USB flash drive. See you in the next video. If you like the video, please subscribe.